What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? So, Generation 8 is nearly upon us. Sword and Shield comes out very soon, and it's gotten me really excited to brush up on my competitive skills. And also, have a little bit more fun with Gen 7 before it dies. So, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, and that is going to be a monotype laddering session on Pokemon Showdown. So, I haven't ever actually uploaded a video of me playing monotype before, so this is, this is a first for me, and I figure... Why not just have a little bit of fun with it and make it an ice type team? So uh, I chose the ice type just because I feel like this is the team, this is the type that gets the least amount of love. So we're gonna try to make it work. It's gonna be a little bit challenging, uh, but it should be fun. So we're gonna go through a team recap here and uh, let you let you know who we're working with on the squad. So uh, first of all, we have Kieran Black, and this is actually the only ice type in OU. I'm pretty sure. So we had to include this thing. It's got the ICMZ, and it's basically here to just punch holes in the opponent's team. So uh, we're working with just Free Shock, Fusion Bolt, Ice Beam, and Earth Power. This thing is pretty damn powerful. We're also uh, able to take a decent amount of attacks with that base hunter defense. So uh, we are just going to be max attack and speed, naive nature, because we are a little bit of a mixed attacker, which I think could be useful. Uh, so that is going to be likely our main KO leader. Next up, we have Alola Ninetales, which honestly is a great asset. I think that... Uh, with the Snow Warning and Aurora Veil paired with the Light Clay, it's definitely going to give our team what we need in terms of defense because obviously Ice Type is weak to just about freaking everything and <laughs> we need all the defensive help we can get. So uh, this thing is just here uh, to try to outspeed stuff, get some damage, but mostly uh, for this bad boy right here. Uh, next up we have Choice Band Weavile because we do need a fast attacker and this thing is pretty fitting for the job. We got Ice Shard for priority. Uh, knockoff, Icicle Crash, and Pursuit to try to catch some stuff. So uh, I honestly just really like Weavile, and uh, this lad had to make it onto the team. Just max uh, attack and speed, nothing too fancy there. We are jolly because we need to ensure that we can outspeed as much as possible. And uh, yeah, next up we have one of my favorites actually. We got the Mantle Swine, and this is basically here for Stealth Rock support. It's also relatively bulky. Uh, we have Thick Fat, so we can kind of maybe take like a fire move. So yeah, there's something, but uh, we have the Focus Sash uh, paired with Endeavor and Ice Shard to maybe do some shenanigans there, uh, but we definitely needed some Stealth Rock support. So this thing should be helpful. It's probably going to be a dedicated lead, but next up we have Rotom Frost, and this is here because I just love this little refrigerator. I've never used uh, Rotom Frost, I don't think, very much. I, I definitely have a few times, probably in like Gen 5, but I don't know. This thing is here. Um, it, it is... It does have um, some investment in speed, and that is because I need to be able to uh, outspeed some stuff and get will o wisps off. I'm pretty sure we outspeed Breloom and Bisharp with that. Uh, so that's going to be nice. We definitely need the will o wisp support. Also a nice little Volt Switcher. Defog is going to be pretty useful, obviously, because we're Ice-type and Pain Split. And this thing is just here to kind of be a little bit more defensive with max HP, a little bit of defense investment, and I guess we'll see how this thing works. But last but not least, I had to include a Mega. And... Uh, we decided to go with Mega, Mega Obama Snow, and I don't know if I ever really used this thing very much at all either, so it should be interesting. But uh, this is basically just here as a mix attacker. We got Blizzard, Giga Drain, Focus Blast, and Earthquake. It is going to be a bulkier set with uh, HP and special attacks, so it's going to be interesting to see how this works. But before we jump into the battles, we do have a sponsor for this video, so check it out. Introducing Raid Shadow Legends. I love me some turn-based RPGs, and this game actually does it extremely well. Uh, so you guys have probably heard about this a lot lately, but that's because this bad boy is one of the top three ranked RPGs on the Google Play Store, with over 10 million mentions. It's crazy popular right now. This game's got over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. You can assemble a team from 16 heroic factions, explore over a million champion builds, and enjoy a fully voiced story campaign. Obviously, the best part is that it's completely free to play. So they're adding 14 new champions every month, so there's always new strategies, along with progression rewards. You get tons of free champions, equipment, and other cool stuff just for learning how to play. Also, once you complete the missions, you're going to get one of the best legendary champions in the game, the Arbiter. Look at this badass. So the game is growing super fast, and you can check out this new roadmap that they just added. So go to the video description, click on the special link, and if you're a new player, you'll get up to 100,000 silver, 50 gems, an energy refill, and a free champion executioner. Good luck, and I will see you there. All right, so we are ready to hop into it. Um, I have not played a lot of Monotype ever in my days, and uh, this should be interesting. It's probably going to be terrible, depending on kind of what matchups we get. But I'm excited to see how this goes, so let's go ahead and find a random opponent, and uh, hopefully we can get a little bit lucky, but don't expect much, because I'm, I'm rusty, and also I don't have the most optimized team for this, uh, this tier. But 
I'm optimistic. All right, it looks like we got ourselves an electric boy, which actually is not bad for us. So, um, uh, quite the interesting team. I'm expecting probably Galvantula lead. Let's just go right for the Mammoth Swine. We're just going to toss this thing out here and uh, get that dedicated lead going. So, he does lead with the Galvantula. He obviously has the option for Energy Ball here. Um, I can Earthquake and then I guess just Ice Shard. I could just go for the Endeavor shenanigans, but we're just going to go right for the EQ. No, the actually Sticky Webs. Uh, so, Earthquake's going to knock it down to 2%. And uh, now we can just Ice Shard this bad boy away, unless he wants to save it. In which case, we could just set up some Stealth Rock and not have to worry about that thing. So, uh, he's going to... Yeah, he's actually going to switch out. Goes into the Electros on the Ice Shard, uh, which is a decent play. And now at this point, I could... So, it's not going to be able to knock me down to my Sash with a Giga Drain. Um, but I think it's probably in my best interest here to... What should I go into for this? I'm gonna, it's going to take some getting used to for this team. Obviously, I have not played at all with this team, so it's going to uh, it's going to be a learning learning process. I think I might just go for this Stealth Rock, but I, I would like to conserve Mammoth Swine Sash. You know, I think it's probably worth uh, conserving the Sash. Um, he doesn't care too much about the Stealth Rock other than Galvantula. So, also, what should I go into here? I might just go right into Kiram. Let's let's bring in this boy. He's going to get caught in the Sticky Web, which is a bummer. Uh, this thing's going to coil. And that is actually not very good. But we can just go right for the Z, the Sub-Zero Slammer. And we're going to see how much this does. After the coil, this, uh, this little wormy boy is looking a little bit bulky. But I honestly, I don't even know how much to expect from this. It knocks it down to 1%. Are you kidding me? Wow. Well. <laughs> so, um, we do actually outspeed still. So that shows this thing doesn't have speed investment, which is nice. Oh, but we dropped my speed there. False alarm. Um, shit. We are going to have to switch out here, which sucks. Um, rock Slide Electros. I don't think I've ever seen an Electros with Rock Slide, so that is quite the interesting one there. My team obviously hates Rock Slide, so we're going to need to... I might just go into Mammoth Swine here. He's going to Rock Slide again. It's going to waste my Sash, but that's fine. I do want to try to conserve... That Kiram, so he actually wild charges, and that is perfect. So we get the get a nice play there, so now we don't have to worry about breaking the sash. But honestly, I don't even know if Ice Shard knocks out at this. Yeah, it does. Okay, for sure. Sorry I doubted you, Mama Swine Boy, but that, that was a little bit scary. So Ice Shard takes care of that thing. And uh, Electros is definitely a big threat out of the way. I'm really glad that we got Electric type guy as our as our first battle. So nice. So he's gonna go into the Rotom here. And we are expecting probably just a Hydro Pump or a Will-O-Wisp. If he Will-O-Wisps and I endeavor, it's gonna, we're going to have a bad time. So what should I do on this thing? I kind of want to go into a Rotom of my own. And I can also just defog. Let's go into our Rotom. We're going to have a nice little Rotom party out here. He Hydro Pumps. And it's not going to do a whole lot to us. So <laughs> look at me flapping my little, my little Rotom arms. All right, let's just go right for the defog. I'm sick and tired of these damn sticky webs on my end of the field. So that is going to help me out a little bit. Um, assuming he's probably just going to Volt Switch here. We do go first, get that defog, and he is just going to Volt Switch. So uh, we're still sitting at above half, and I'm assuming he's going to go... What would he... If I was this guy, maybe... Oh, okay, he's going to go Manectric. Nice. So this thing... Gonna either have overheat or flamethrower, and that is not good for us. Not good at all. But I do still have a focus sash mammoth swine in the back pocket, so that's great news. Um, let's just go ahead and let's just click planes, click pain split. He's gonna be mega. Uh, it goes for the overheat, and that definitely knocks our ass out. So uh, this thing is sitting at some lower special attack, which is great after the overheat. We can go into mammoth swine, mammoth swine freely and go for the earthquake, but that Rotom is just basically threatening me over there and that is not good uh, so at 405 we do not have anything that can outspeed this uh, which is quite a bummer um, but we might need to go into the nine tails and try to get up and i kind of just want to go into the swine mama swine can't do anything to that rotom though that is actually this is bad hmm. well i'll tell you what let's go into the mama swine anyway we're going to set up the stealth rock because it's going to allow him to not be able to switch into the manectric anymore he is going to go into the rotom wash and uh cool so this lad's definitely gonna hydro pump i think i think the only way to get rid of this rotom is to click endeavor he might volt switch here though we're just gonna we're gonna click endeavor if he hydro pumps oh we're faster fuck that was a ter 
That was a terrible call. It's fine. It doesn't have... <laughs> I don't know why I thought that this thing was going to be faster. At 298, it, if it was max speed, it would have been faster. That is on Fort. Well, we're going to click Endeavor again. As he's going to go into Galva Galvantula. Uh, it does die to the Stealth Rock. And uh, that was a misplay on my end. I don't remember my damn speed tiers. Um, and that is definitely not a max speed invested Rotom. So... That is unfortunate. I feel like if I was using Rotom Wash, I would definitely invest in max speed, but that's just me. I don't use Rotom Wash a whole lot anyway. So a lot of the mons I'm playing against and playing with are not uh, <laughs> I'm not, not play, like more comfortable with. So, all right, anyway. Manectric comes in, and Manectric is Manectric is very scary to us. Um, Obama Snow would be nice to keep around for the, the Alolan Golem, which is actually kind of a big threat to us as well. But... At this point, it's kind of like basically who I, who do I switch into to kind of just die? Weavile seems super useful at this point. I kind of wish I had a fighting move for that Magnazone, but with the band, we're going to be able to do a lot anyway. Um, I think we're going to go Obama Snow. Going to bring in the Snow Warning, which really doesn't matter. Actually goes for the Hidden Power, uh, which also doesn't really matter because Overheat definitely is just going to absolutely obliterate my ass. I don't have Ice Shard on this, which I considered putting on. Oh my god, he missed the Overheat. Sweet. <laughs> yes! The Mega Obama Snow does not care about your Overheat. That is insanely unfortunate for this guy. Uh, but, uh, wow, that's the way she goes sometimes. Anyway, in comes a Magnazone. We're just going to keep on <laughs> keep on moving here. I really thought, I really just did not expect that to happen. Cool. Well, uh, we can get a nice little free Earthquake on this thing, as it does have Hidden Power Fire. JK. So he does end up killing us with the fire move, and uh, that was meant to be. Um, anyway, we are able to outspeed. We could go into Mammoth Swine here, he uh, but that freaking Rotom is still just hanging around. But the Rotom cannot come into... I mean, if the Rotom comes in, we can basically just endeavor, and then it dies to the hail damage. So you know what? Let's go into the Mammoth Swine. We are going to click Earthquake here. And he's kind of backed into a corner. It definitely, the game would have definitely changed had he not missed that overheat. But I still think we potentially would have, should have had this in the game, in the back. So, all right, in comes the golem. Um, for the, I think we, I think we have this this game either way. I'm just gonna click EQ. It's gonna knock that out. Yep. Well, our first monotype match has resulted in a win. Unfortunately. The hail goes away, so we do get the endeavor off. Gonna bring it down to 1%. It would have died to the hail, which would have actually been extremely satisfying. But unfortunately, it does not. So now we're just gonna bring in this bad boy, and we're just going to click something that doesn't miss. So I hate Rotom Wash for some reason. I, I don't know what it is. But every time I battle against one of these things, it seems like it's just such a problem, man. With the Will O Wisp, and it's always it's always pain splitting. But uh Fusion Bolt is going to knock out the Rotom, and that is going to do it for Game 1. And that was uh, that was actually really fun. I'm liking this team. First battle with the team went well. So we're going to continue on here and see what we get next. Come on, Ice Boys. We iced out out here. These opponents don't even know. All right, we have got it. And uh, we have a Poison team. So uh, we're actually getting some pretty decent matchups here um, with this. A lot of a lot of dual types that are kind of scary, uh, but we're just going to continue to lead Mamoswine because that get that, that lad is going to work out for us. So he leads off with the area dose, and with this we're expecting another sticky web, which is unfortunate. Uh, but we're going to actually set up our stealth rock there. Um, it is going to help on the switch ins with the crowbat, and the salazzle is not going to not going to enjoy that very much. So uh, we are are going to be looking to defog anyway. But all right, let's uh. I'm likely just going to click click Earthquake here. I don't know if I want to break this thing Sash quite yet. Maybe I actually should switch. This Eridos has nothing to do to me. I think he's definitely, he's probably going to switch into the Toxapex, I would assume. Uh, so we're going to bring in, we're going to bring bring in this boy right here. Expecting the Toxapex. I really don't know. Now he's going to Toxic Spikes. All right, interesting. Definitely did not expect that. Well, this lad is really trying to set up them hazards. We could go into Rotom right now. This Eridos has nothing on us, but... Let's just click Free Shock, and um, I'm going to take us two turns. We're going to let him set up the Toxic Spike anyways. And this Free Shock is going to... Oh, my Jesus, he has Protect. Hello? All right, that is... <laughs> what the fuck? I really thought I was going to get this guy with that Free Shock. 
Well, that's fine. We are going to just click Fusion Bolt at this point. Is he going to continue to going to disable now? What? My God, this this guy has the strat, the strats though. Why is his area dose so damn bulky? That did 56%. We're going to click Ice Beam, which is not going to be able to kill at this point. But we're going to click it anyway. I definitely am glad that I'm saving that Z power. He's going to switch into the Alolan Muck here, um, which is fine. Kind of. We have Earth Power. I'm just going to click Earth Power. This thing is definitely really specially bulky. But after that Stealth Rock damage and the Ice Beam did 23%, we're looking pretty good for Earth Power, uh, which actually only does 27. And it's going to. I pop a berry. You bastard, not setting up the curses. And uh, that is not good. We are going to actually just sub zero. We're going to sub zero slammer right away. I have Mammoth Swine, which does do great against this. Uh, but I honestly, at this point, don't really want to bring that in. We're just going to we're just gonna sub zero slammer it, man. Kiram is here to poke holes in teams. And that's what we're doing. So, Muck is definitely gone. And uh, Sayonara. So, with that thing out of the way, that's actually great. Now he's going to bring in the Salazzle. Gets that clean Stealth Rock damage, and we do not really want to stay in here. I don't know what this thing's going to be. If it's Specs, I don't think we can take an attack. I don't know if we can... Hmm. Earth Power is fantastic. I might I might even just click it. Yo, Kiram is just carrying us to victory right now. Or do I switch into the Mammoth Swine? Hmm. I think we're just going to click Earth Power. It's going to substitute. Alright, very glad I didn't switch out there. Earth Power... Is obviously going to obliterate that beanbag you sent out there, little guy. And Earth Power yet again. As it's looking like, Kiram just has a great matchup here. That flamethrower, a measly 33%. Yo, hold up. It turns out Ice Type is the fucking type in Monotype. You cannot beat Ice Type. Alright. In comes the Toxapex. <laughs> we have the coverage on everything. We're just going to click Fusion Bolt, uh, which I'm expecting to do a decent amount of damage. Um, Toxapex is annoying, but yeah, that's a clean 55%. So all he can do is Scald. Yo, this man does not want the smoke from Kiram, though. Sweet Jesus, there is no hope. My team is just stacked. Honestly, as I was making this, I did not think there was any hope. I was like, what could be the, the type that's going to give me the most trouble? And I was expecting Ice type to be that type, but apparently we are looking great. We could even maybe get away with clicking Free Shock here. No, actually, with the speed drop. Uh, we're not going to be looking too good. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go into let's go into Rotom just to see what this thing wants to do. Uh, it's going to Earth Power. Nice. The clean levitate. That's right. Perfect. Now we can defog, and just to ensure that we don't have any trouble with that <laughs> with that Crobat, which we likely should not with an Ice type Mono team, uh, we're going to just uh, we're going to defog that on out of there. As in comes the Area Dose, and which actually I'm just going to click Volt Switch here. Ariados is such a cool Pokemon that had such great potential, but honestly, kind of got shafted. I mean, it has, it definitely has its, uh, its uses, but I mean, you kind of just hate to see it. All right. So at this point, all he's got left is the, the two, and he's just going to forfeit. So we are 2-0 and o with the Mono Ice Boys. We are just going to keep it rolling. Let's see if we can find another one. All right, we got ourselves a new one, and this guy has got the, the normal mono team. And uh, very interesting. We haven't got a, a fire mono yet, which is great for us. So he's definitely going to lead with that damn Smeargle, and that really grinds my gears. Um, let's go ahead and toss out the Ninetales. If that thing has Sash, we'll get up the, we'll get up the Hail to be able to break the Sash. Um, this could be interesting. He's actually going to lead with the Chinchino. Uh, so Rock Blast is definitely not going to be our friend today. And Chinchino actually has coverage for a lot of things here. Um, this is not not the best for us. I want to set up the Aurora Veil. Um, this thing's actually going to be faster. I think it can actually... Oh, man. This Chinchino is a threat. Hold up. The normal type is going to give me the most trouble. It definitely will. Uh, this thing can it can kill me with the Rock Blast, can't it? I, have, I can't really switch anything in at this point. Uh, it's faster than everything except for Weavile. And Weavile dies to a rock blast switch in so we're kind of hecked i'm just going to click aurora veil and yep that rock blast is going to hurt so not a whole lot we could have done there i i mean if i led mammoth swine we actually with with the focus ash we get oh man i i, I should have led mammoth swine damn it i had this freaking specific lead and i didn't lead it for some reason and that was a that was a bad move all right 
So now we're expecting, what is this thing, bullet seed? Is it, is it this thing bullet seed? We're gonna endeavor. Rock blast again, hello? I thought for some reason, did you not get a, do you not get a grass? Well, we're gonna endeavor it down to 49%, which is sad. Damn it, I should have clicked earthquake and then ice shard. This is not going well. Looks like it's gonna come down to Weavile outspeeding this thing. Well, shit. Um, we know another rock blast is coming. It's it's banded or something. That's exactly why. That did a lot of damage. It's got to be choiced. Uh, so he just clicked. He just clicked the rock blast again. This man just said, "Fuck it." All right. Well, we're just gonna ice shard as we get it down to six percent. So close. Very close. Gets a crit. Does not really matter, and it does go down to the hail. So <laughs> we got rid of that thing, which is great news, I guess. Uh, but now, what is he gonna go into? I'm expecting it maybe the. Um, the Smeargle, which cannot outspeed Kirim. Uh, it probably has the Focus Sash, but it's going to go down to the Hail in the next turn. So, let's go ahead and just go right in. So, this is obviously our most useful Pokemon at this point. I think we're going to go ahead and bring in... I might even go Obama's note. No, because no, he might go Star After. We're just going to click... Let's click Rotom as he goes into the, Smeargle. the Smeargle. Okay. So, if he wants to spore this, that is completely fine. I am definitely willing to let Rotom take a spore. And uh, it does outspeed us, unfortunately. We're going to click Volt Switch. He might even not want to spore the Rotom. Uh, the spore would be useful on anything other than my damn refrigerator. So, let's see what Smeargle is going to King Shield. Interesting. So, protects itself. Does get hurt by the hail if it was Focus Ash. It is now gone. We're going to click, click Volt Switch yet again. Uh, he knows that th that's what I want to go for. Also, I'm afraid of this slacking. This guy's got a lot, a lot of hitters. At 328, it definitely outspeeds like everything. And we're gonna need to wait for that trail, oh, man. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a tough battle here. He's gonna final gambit, and uh, did not expect. So interesting. Final gambit, Smeargle. He's gonna bring in this. The the slacking is a hard hitter, but obviously with the truant, he can come in and get get a giga impact. But then he has to switch. Um, he might go into the might go into the Snorlax to start setting up. Potentially go into the Porygon Z to start setting up some nasty plots. In comes the Porygon Z, gets the special attack boost, and this is not good. We're gonna paint split. Um, we outspeed with Weavile, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal if we can get some damage off on this thing. So let's go ahead and just click plain paint split, plain split, plain old paint split. Tongue twisted as he actually just is going to try attack. So we also have the normal gem. Normal gem boosted tri attack. That is not something I expected. Very interesting. So Kiram outspeeds here. Um, I think we could actually even go into a, a Bomb of Snow. I think a Bomb of Snow is not the most useful mod we have. Let's go into this thing. We're going to set up the hail at least, which is kind of nice. Set up the old snow. Um, we're going to mega and click Focus Blast and really just hope that we can click that. Or if we can miss it. I mean, obviously we can click it, but can we hit it? Come on, focus miss. Go ahead and help me out here today, buddy. Squirtle Squad 809 coming at me with some heat normal types. I honestly have I know nothing about monotype. Is that is this is this normal? Like is it normal to be normal? Normal types? Do people normally do that? Did you hear all the puns there? Alright, so Squirtle Squad, what are his options here? He definitely I don't think switching is in his best interest. He also doesn't have anything that can Oko Obama Snow. Maybe I should have clicked Giga Drain here. We're just going to Mega. He's going to try attack. Knocks us down to 40. Oh my god, we missed. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that was huge. That was very bad. Well, the focused miss has gotten us yet again. Well, we're just going to click that one more time. It doesn't matter because try attack does knock us out. It did 56% the first time. He's going to conversion to change into the flying type. This man just conversioned on me. That's actually... A damn strategy going for the flying type on wow if I clicked blizzard there it would have been over but now he doesn't get stab on try attack do we click blizzard at this point he's gonna conversion again go into the psychic so we're actually able to just land a blizzard this guy is just changing types all over here okay well <laughs> interesting that was uh, quite the sequence of events I missed two focus blasts but it's all right we got him out of the way you know we don't have to worry about any more focus misses anymore Everybody knows the rules. You, you miss two and you're set for the rest of the time. Wouldn't that be great if that's how it worked? All right. Uh, we're going to just, I guess, just click Focus Blast here. It doesn't matter because the slacking is going to outspeed us and knock us out. 
And this man is scary as hell looking. We, it is 3-3 to right now. Um, I have my two hardest hitters left, which is great news. Um, we're not going to be able to out... Wait, we are actually 3-28. Does... We will, yeah, definitely. I thought Star After was faster than that. Hot damn. Well, he's actually going to sucker punch. Why would you sucker punch there? Hello? Well, that's totally fine by me. We actually do hit the Focus Blast there. Now we're going to Blizzard. He could have literally clicked anything else. Why, Sucker Punch? You were faster than me. At 328, I have 86 speed. Well, down goes the Slacking, and in comes a Lax. Okay, so the Snorlax could just set up on me, and I really don't want that to happen. So, we are going to go into... We're just going to go right into this thing. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. If this sets up a curse, we could have a bad time. Every Everybody knows it's not over until the fat lady dies. And in this case, the fat lady is Snorlax. So he's actually just going to kick impact for some hot damage. Jesus. Has to recharge, uh, which is great. So it doesn't really matter at this point. We're just going to click Sub-Zero Slammer. Get that absolute massive amount of damage. And that's going to kill the Snorlax. So all that's left is the Star Raptor. And uh, it actually kind of comes down to me hitting an Icicle Crash, doesn't it? That is scary. Oof. Well, if this thing's not max speed, there's a chance we could live. Which, I'm pretty positive it is. So we'll see what old Squirtle Squad's going to bust out on us here. You kind of have to run max speed Star Raptor. But a uh, little emo boy over there. Flippity flapping away. He is going to Brave Bird. And he got burned? thing has the flame orb why do you have a flame orb just facade I'm confused this guy this guy's coming at me with some confusing shit we're gonna go into a bomb snow just because we can get up some <laughs> get up some hail and just click blizzard but flame orb star raptor is that something that people do I am so confused I was like does this thing have guts did I have I been missing something I'm confused well the flame orb raptor is just gonna facade me and now we bring in the Weavile. And do I go for the 90% accurate Icicle Crash? If this Icicle Crash misses, I lose. Ice Shard probably kills at this range, actually. Oh, man. I might have to calc this. I am definitely going to go ahead and calc this. <laughs> I'm going to calc this out because if I lose from a miss, I'm going to be pissed off. Star Raptor, we're going to say it's Choice Scarf. Doesn't really matter. Weavile, Choice Band. Um, Ice Shard is going to be able to do 79 to 94. So, it's actually kind of risky. We're fucking clicking Icicle Crash and we <laughs> we connect. So, uh, wow. Three wins in a row. That was that guy was actually very questionable as an opponent, though. So, we're going to put a little asterisk next to that win. But, alright. We're going to hop into another one here. Since things have been going so swimmingly. And now it's, we got ourselves, yes! We got ourselves... Oh, it's actually a dark. I've, oh, man. So, definitely some threats. We might be able to try out the old Rotom being able to outspeed with the will o -Wisp on the Bisharp, though. Uh, so, dark type is an interesting one. Um, I'm just, I was just glad that it wasn't freaking fire type. We're going to start the timer. We are going to lead Mamoswine. And we're just going to go with this as it happens. So, he leads with the High Dragon, which is great. Um, we can obviously not outspeed. Is this thing going to want to stay in here on... Potential, potential. We're gonna bluff. High school crash. We're gonna set up the stealth rock. He's just gonna fire blast. Okay, not even gonna knock us down to our sash. Um, fire blast. That is not good for our team. This thing's probably choice scarfed. We're gonna assume it is scarfed. Um, now we're gonna click ice shard just to get some last ditch damage. Uh, we got the stealth rock up. Unfortunately, he hits two fire blasts in a row. But uh, you know what happens. It, it happens. So. Ninetales is decent here. We can set up the Aurora Veil, which we haven't even used yet. Let's go into Ninetales. We're going to set this bad boy up. And uh, we live that with 11. I knew we should be able to live that. Nice. And unfortunately, though, now Ninetales is looking weak. I probably should not have done that, considering he's got a freaking mono dark team. I, I really could have conserved that. But honestly, I don't think we're... I don't know. Never mind. Okay, well... That was kind of a bad move, but we did get the Aurora Veil up, so that is going to be hanging around. And uh, now we can go ahead and switch. So, I could go into... 
Oh no, this actually, this backs me into a corner. That was a bad play. Abort mission. That was a terrible move. Um, Kirim, we could probably take two. We're going to switch into Kirim as he goes into the Bisharp, which is interesting for us. So, gets a little bit of stealth rock damage just in case he's sashed. That's fine. Also some hail. Uh, so we get a free switch in, which is nice. Uh, we can just click Earth Power here, I think. I'm not sure what this thing wants to do. It can't set up the Swords Dance, which is kind of the main thing we're worried about. We're going to click Earth Power here. And it is going to it is going to do 58%. Gets off an Iron Head, but with that Aurora Veil, we are bulky as all hell. Now we can click Earth, click Earth Power one more time. Although, maybe we actually go for... We might want to go for something else, considering that dragons around you know what I think I might even just go right for the Z power or do we fusion bolt I think we fusion bolt now he's just gonna stay in all right down goes the Bisharp looking cool with this shiny form love to see it and all right so what is he gonna want to bring into here the Weavile does outspeed but I don't think it can knock us out at this point this is about the scariest sight you can see is a Kieran black with one of these bad boys on him. All right, the Aurora Veil. Oh, but the Sandstorm comes in. Oh, Jesus, that's not good. Well, we do outspeed, and we could actually just Z-power this thing. Tyranitar is a little bit of a threat. We're just going to go right for the Sub-Zero Slammer. And uh, that is going to knock that boy out. So the Ice Lads are out here doing it again. We are not afraid of any type. Now we got the Weavile, and we are going to... Probably conserve the Kirim. Um, but what do I bring into on this? Let's go in. Let's go into the Nine Tails. We're gonna get the hail back up. Doesn't really matter too much. This thing's just gonna knock us off and kill us. And that is fine. So we still have two turns on the Aurora Veil, which is fantastic. Now we can go into. We could potentially go into a Bomb Snow. This thing's best option against us is knock off, and it can't knock anything off, obviously. And we can go for the Focus Blast, which is great against this team. So let's bring in the Mega. Mega Obama Snow about to do big things. We're going to click Focus Blast, and we're not going to miss because we're thinking positive thoughts here. Knockoff's not going to do anything, and we do connect on the Focus Blast. That is a dead weed vial. Amazing. So, now comes the High Dragon again. This thing is obviously just going to Fire Blast. If we can get it to miss, though, fuck, I really wish I put Ice Shard on this thing. It actually would have been way more useful. Well, we're going to click Blizzard. It does connect on the Fire Blast, which is a sad day. And, uh... That is, that is unfortunate. Down goes the veil. So now, we have ourselves in a tough situation, actually. Can Rotom take the Fire Blast? I think Rotom might be able to live the Fire Blast. But, we're not going to be able to kill it, is the bad news. We, oh no, hold on. We're going to just wear, bring in Weavile and scare it off with the Ice Shard, actually. Obviously. Ice Shard's going to knock this thing out. I, I completely forgot about the priority for a quick second, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Next is the Greninja. So, Greninja, we're going to bring in Rotom for you. I don't want to be locked into Ice Shard on Weavile. Don't really know what to expect from this damn thing. Uh, it's just going to Gunk Shot. So, uh, it does less than half, which is nice. Uh, with the Stab, though, kind of spooky. And I am going to... Like pain split here it goes for another gunk shot we live it with 19 percent pain splits gonna knock it down to about half and also give us a clean amount of health back to be able to live another one that last gunk shot did 44.4 percent which is great now we're going to click will-o-wisp here he lands another gunk shot which is very bad and also gets the poison damn it well we get a burn on it uh, i was really hoping that that gunk shot was gonna miss because if i had this thing burned we would be in a great spot but alas we do not and that should be all right, because Kiram does outspeed the Absol. Uh, so as long as Weavile is able to knock out this thing, we should be fine. We're going to click Volt Switch as he actually switches into the Absol here, which is quite surprising. Uh, we get the Volt Switch off. Going to do a solid 45%. Look at look at little Frost Rotom doing his best. And now this is going to allow us to... I guess we'll just bring in this thing. Unless there's any shenanigans I should be worried about here. Actually, Sucker Punch... So we're going to go Weavile instead. And we click High School Crash. Come on, High School Crash. Don't miss on me. It does connect. Down goes the Absol. All that's left is that Greninja. And um, 
he's gonna forfeit. So, ladies and gentlemen, Ice Type has proven superior. Superior. I said superior because Pokemon reference. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys. That was actually really fun. I enjoyed that. We finished that off uh, after four battles. But honestly, I had a great time. Monotype definitely got potential for some great fun. Also, look, look at Ice-type. Just doing way better than anybody thought. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean a whole lot if you could click that like button. I am super excited for some uh, good old-fashioned new metagame once Gen 8 comes out. And that is going to be amazing. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace out.